Next one, Sunil Sunil, who is a friend of mine, he asked, where do you see yourself, uh, where do you see Dubai, UAE, in the next five to 10 years in the existing economic scenario? Okay, Sunil, uh, this is my answer to you. Okay, uh, consider this. Let's say someone goes to the gym for the first time. The guy has never gone to the gym. He goes to the gym for the very first time. When he goes to the gym, this is the normal result that you'd see. You'd see results very, very fast. They would see growth very fast. You'd see himself toning down very fast. Results come very fast. And the person's like, wow, you know, I'm able to improve so quickly. And then the person grows, but after which the person reaches a stalemate. Then the person starts thinking, okay, if I have to improve more, what do I do? Then he focuses on nutrition, focuses on proper sleep, focuses on proper technique. So then the person grows a little bit more. Then the person grows, grows until the person reaches a stalemate. Then the person says, what do I do now? So finally, the person takes steroids because the person wants to push himself to the next level. And after taking steroids, a person really grows and shoots. But after a certain point of time, stalemate. So no matter what the person does, no matter how many steroids you take, no matter how much steroids he takes, it doesn't work. So supplements, nutrition, sleep, technique, professional coach, professional techniques, and steroids. But after which the person just cannot grow. So that is why you see people with so much muscle on their body, but they can't seem to grow any bit more, no matter what they do. So they go for these extreme where they inject so much of steroids or like Greg Valentino who had like 25 inch arms or 27 inch arms, it becomes slightly abnormal and it has serious health concerns. So if you push yourself even more after that, you can literally kill yourself or it proves to be negative. So what has that got to do with Dubai UAE? It is the same. UAE, um, you know, UAE or any country in this world or any uh, company like Facebook or um, let's say General Electric or uh, Red Bull or Pepsi, whatever, or Apple, you grow with all the possible options, with uh, professional CEOs, with uh, uh, cash injection into your company, putting the company as a public IPO, uh, getting the best talent in the world. You keep growing, growing, growing to a point where after which no matter what you do, you're not going to grow anymore. It's going to reach its max. That's where Coca-Cola or the tobacco industry or let's say Pepsi, Facebook or UAE, they've reached their max. Now, no matter what you do after this, it'll, it'll still remain the same. But if you try to do something abnormal, it can really harm. Like, for example, in the same way, like I told you, if you take too much of steroids, you can even die. So in the same way, these companies or these countries have reached the max. Now, the only thing they can do is maintain themselves. If they try something abnormal, it would backfire. Like, you know, you get black money too much, then you'll get international uh, attention and then you'll be slapped with sanctions and then, you know, it's only downhill from there. So what I see UAE or any country or any company is now they only can maintain themselves in UAE or Dubai's case in specific, only maintain. Uh, but the risk is if they make a mistake, it's downhill from there. So I would say that uh, in a summary that UAE's boom period or the money making days are over. Nobody's going to make money. Nobody's going to be a racks to riches story. We're going to have unicorns once in a blue moon kind of thing, but it's going to remain for the next eternity. It's going to remain more or less as it is. However, unless they have like a Steve Jobs or a rare event, they're going to grow a little bit, but then one generation, then it's going to be back again. Uh, however, the big question is after Sheikh Mohammed, since you're asking about Dubai, after Sheikh Mohammed, he dies. What's going to happen next? That's a big question that nobody has been able to answer. And uh, the question is, who takes on the mantle of the leadership? So that's my answer there.